Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Raging Silver back here, and today I uh, just want to start off by saying sorry, my tank's a bit low. I'm doing a water change tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we're going to be teaching you guys how to do a uh, filter change. Uh, I know this is pretty basic, but uh, some people don't really know how to do it, and uh, they're looking up this video. So, what you want to do is grab a container or bucket. I'm just using a five gallon bucket that I use for water changes and stuff like that. So, doesn't really matter, just any sort of container. And then uh, what you want to do is uh, get it ready right where near your filter. And then open up the filter. Slowly take it out. Let it, the water drip down. And uh, try not to make a big mess as you do this. And let it all go into the bucket. After this, you take it to the bathroom. Okay, so what you want to do now is uh, grab your filter media. I know it might seem kind of gross and brown, but that's okay. And uh, place some running warm water on it. Let all that gunk come out. Yeah, and if you, as you can see, it does collect a lot of uh, waste in that bag. So uh, make sure you guys are doing this regularly because uh, this is kind of what keeps your tank clean. Uh, this and water changes is what te keeps your tank clean. So, uh, yeah. Alright guys, so basically if you guys have the regular um, filter pads that come with the filter, um, all you have to do is rinse that off and then put it back in. That only works for about two to three times. And, um, yeah, but what I recommend is getting like a fish bag like this. It's a nylon bag that has a Velcro uh, sealing on the end. And then uh, what I bought was... Uh, pure carbon and uh, the matrix um, little nitrate granule things that you put in the bag so uh, let's do that alright guys so what you want to do now is uh, once it's filled up you want to rinse it off because there's uh, still dust in that filter uh, carbon and what getting it wet does is um, it actually activates the carbon which makes it uh, start the process of cleaning the water so after do, you do this you want to quickly uh, put that filter right back into the tank so it can start cleaning out your water and uh, yeah alright guys so what you want to do is uh, take that same bucket and rinse it out and uh, bring the uh, the baptized filter media back to where uh, back to where you started <coughs> All right, guys, so now if you have a regular filter uh, pad, it should just slide in like that. Uh, let me try that. Yeah, but uh, it kind of just fits in there. Sorry, you can't really see it. It's not, Jesus. Uh, there's not really good lighting right now. But uh, if you have one of these, then uh, all you want to do is just slide it in between the, um, sorry, right in between here. And as you put that in there, it will start cleaning the water. So uh, we'll be right back once I get this in there. All right, guys. So once you get that on, you want to just close off the lid, make sure everything's secure, make sure your, sil your filter is running good as new. And uh, don't be surprised when your water's super cloudy. It's just because that old gunk is uh, getting back into the water, and it will be cleaned up very soon by the filter. It should take a few hours. Uh, so don't be worried when this uh, shows up in your tank. Uh, it will clear up very fast. Uh, so yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, hope you all enjoyed, uh, thank you guys for 550 subscribers, and thank you guys for 200,000 views on the channel, and uh, see you guys later.